CNN reporter harasses elderly woman whose Facebook group was targeted by Russian trolls. We have actually got the video. We will play it for you. It's It starts off somewhat okay. And it just sort of gets pretty bad, actually. Um, let's get through the article. We'll play the video, then we'll talk about it. So let's jump into it. As part of its obsessive coverage of Russiagate, CNN sent reporter Drew Griffin to Florida to interview an elderly woman who runs a Facebook group that was targeted by Russian trolls prior to the 2016 election. The woman, Florida Glenn Godfab, might be mispronouncing, had no idea that her Team Trump Barwood County Facebook page was targeted by Russian operatives. But that didn't stop Griffin from haranguing her anyway. Griffin showed up to Goldfab's home in Palm Book Pines and, microphone in hand and TV camera in tow, proceeded to grill her about the Russian operation. Griffin acknowledged that Goldfab was likely unaware that her group was targeted by Russians. And, in a tweet of the two-minute interview, CNN acknowledged that she is unwillingly promoted a rally orchestrated by the Russian trolls. Details of the operation that targeted Gof- Gofab's group were laid out in an indictment handed down last Friday by Special Counselor Robert Mueller. Russian operatives posing as Americans used a Facebook group called Bay Patriotic to promote a series of rallies across Florida, according to the fling. Golf Lab and members of her organization attended a rally in Fort Lauderdale and helped promote others. All the while, she had no idea that the events were being pushed by the Kremlin operation, which was headquarters in St. Petersburg, Russia. It's unclear what Griffin hopes to accomplish with the interview. He sought to convince Golf Lab that Russian firm, called the Internet Research Agency, had infiltrated her pro-Trump group. But Golf Lab was more focused on who actually attended her rallies. Those weren't Russians. I don't go with Russians, she said at one point. Those people there with me were all Trump supporters, she said. And all apparently following the direction of Russians who were actually infiltrating Griffins replied. BS, said Golf Lab. The Team Trump Burwood page showed some photos from the rally that was promoted by the, quote, being Patriot troll group. The turnout from the rally was relatively small, with no more than several dozen people attending. The group also appeared to have attended many other rallies during the campaign. CNN itself appears to have been tricked into attending a rally organised by the Kremlin agents, the news network sent reporters to cover a November the 12th, 2016 anti-Trump rally headed in New York City. I have done a video on that. I put it up late yesterday night. I'll put a link to that, so please go and check that out. Um, also, uh, Mike Moore. Michael Moore was also uh, as, uh, affected by this as well. It's funny that CNN is focusing on the pro-Trump people that were caught up with this and seem to be ignoring the ones that were actually caught up on the left side as well. Um, Don't know why they might do that. Um, I have no idea whatsoever. At the end of the day, if CNN wants to talk to anybody that was actually caught up in this uh, Russian investigation or Russian troll group promoting events, talk to their own reporters. Or NBC, for example, just saying... Uh, Baron Garrens, the CNN correspondent who covered the rally, called it the, quote, most organized protest that I've seen happen in the New York City. Yeah, because Russians organized it, I suppose. CNN, MSN, uh, okay, then puts a link to their article. I'll, like I said, I'll put the video at the end of this so you can go and check that out. That's good news, Grins added. Griffin did not return for a request for comment. Maybe I'll tweet at him just to find out exactly why he doesn't cover his own reporters. Um, Like I said, we've got the video. We'll play that for you now, and then we'll do a wrap-up. So play the video. But what part of it in this is a cover-up? What are you saying that's not true, or what? Uh, The Russians? I don't care if they were... Uh, involved or not, that's that to me is the least important thing. But they were involved with 
you, did you guys know that? They weren't involved with us. Let's, you know, just make sure that you report it correctly, that, you know. But you guys were involved with being patriotic, right? Very, very patriotic, but not. Being patriotic was the group that contacted and helped organize some of these activities that you posted on your own Facebook account. Th those were legitimate. Those were Russians. They were not Russians. I don't go with the Russians. That on, group was Russian. I have nothing to do with the Russians. The well, apparently you the, did. No. Maybe you didn't know it, but oh, you please. did. When you're talking like this, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, I'm talking with Those what's people based on that the were with me were all Trump supporters. Very, very much so. Okay? And all apparently following the direction of groups that were associated with Russians who were BS. actually infiltrated. BS. BS. And please, please report that. I don't believe that. That's bullshit. I know all the people that were with me, okay? They were at my meetings. They're all Trump supporters, okay? Mm -hmm. But did you realize that you guys were in communication electronically with with Not Russians? Not me. Not me. I don't you know. You were posting stuff on Hillary, the Facebook. Hillary Clinton was, and so was all her uh, bandits. Some of the Mueller? stuff that you, you were in charge of the Facebook account, right? You were posting and reposting almost word for word the information that was coming out of this <laughs> internet research agency no. in St. Petersburg. No. You don't believe that? Nope. It's bullshit. Thank you. Well, there you go. So guys, at the end of the day, obviously you've just seen the video. Um, me personally, I think it, it started off somewhat okay-ish. Like still obviously romping out a house with microphone and camera was pretty, pretty rough. And she is an elderly woman, so there's that too. But yeah, they just basically start grilling her about this Russian troll group and... She has no idea what they're talking about. And to be honest, you can't blame her. Apparently, from what I can sort of gather from reading this article, is that her only real crime is, is that she advertised a, a Russian troll group event that they made that was a pro-Trump rally. You know, like, for example, you see you're searching through Facebook, you see a event coming up that says pro-Trump rally, for example. She shared it on her Facebook group. That, that's all she did. And this is the reaction that CNN does. They come up while you're at home with a microphone and camera and grill you about it. Like, the, a few people have pointed out how bad this is. That, Yeah, like, yeah, totally agree. It sucks. It really was kind of bad. Really dick move, CNN. Like, insanely but i don't know guys look let me know what you think in the comment section below do you think this is a dick move from cnn or or can you understand why they're doing it to me they just they're like a psycho ex-girlfriend when it comes to this russia thing they're, they're a psycho ex-girlfriend and they just won't leave you alone like hillary lost get over it please for the love of god cover some actual news but they just, they get obsessed about things. This shooting, yes, it was a tragedy. But they've been going on about it now for, what, a week or so? And, and I'm doing a story on that in a sec too because some interesting facts have come out. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that they've been a little obsessive about this? Do you think that they'll been a little bit of a dick when they went through and, and romped up at this girl's house? Um, or do you, can you understand? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.